Hello everyone and welcome to No Waffle GCSE. Today we're going to be looking at how to answer paper 2 section C. There's timestamps in the description box if you want to navigate your way through the video, but let's start up looking at the assessment objectives. So there are four assessment objectives. For section 3, only A01, 2 and 3 are assessed. A04 is the SPAG and is only assessed in section A of paper 1 and section A of paper 2. So you only need to worry about A01, which is answering the question, A02, which is supporting the answer with quotes and explanation, A03, which is integration of context. So let's look at the mark and time division. For the whole of paper two, you have two hours and 15 minutes, and it's out of 96 marks. There are three sections, A, B, and C, and section C is out of 32 marks. I have the recommended time spending here for paper one. So for reading and annotating the poem and planning, I would suggest 10 minutes. And then for section A, 40 minutes plus five minutes for A or four. For section B, 40 minutes. And for section C, 40 minutes. So what will section C's question looks like? There's two questions. So for question one, you'll be given an unseen poem. A poem you haven't seen before and for question one is out of 24 marks you'll be asked how does the poet present the following in the unseen poem then you have to explore whatever theme you have been asked through poetry language structure and form so the best way to do it is probably three paragraphs plus a conclusion that's a suitable structure and will definitely get you started for question two you'll be given another unseen poet and then, which is somehow related, so somehow this is the same topic as the first poem, but it will be from a different era. And then you'll be asked in both poem one and poem two, the speakers describe whatever the related theme is. What are the similarities or, and or differences between the ways the poets present these attitudes. Now this is only eight marks, but it's a comparison between unseen poetry. So you have to explore whatever theme you've been asked through poetry, language, structure and form, and two to three paragraphs and a conclusion, which is not always necessary, would be a suitable structure. Don't worry, there are going to be loads of videos coming up talking about how to compare unseen poetry, but today we're just looking at the structure of the question. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to Noble for GCSC and there's my Instagram for more advice. But see you soon.